Well, advances in modern medicine never cease to amaze us, but the next frontier using 3D printer technology is incredible. This is very exciting news to anyone that's had breast cancer. I think that the way we've gone about doing this is revolutionary. It looks better suited to an industrial factory, but this is medicine in the 21st century. Is this a game changer? Absolutely, yeah. Delicately moving line by line, this 3D printer could change the way we look at reconstructive surgery. Absolutely amazing things. Professor Dietmar Hubmaha from the Queensland University of Technology is the man behind the world first medical breakthrough. 3D printed scaffolds which act like a framework to help cancer patients regrow their own breasts. It's actually very challenging. After six years of development, the scaffold implants are now ready for human trials. It all works by 3D printing a scaffold measured up specifically for each individual patient. It's then implanted into the patient's chest and filled with their own cells along with a growth enhancer. That is able to maintain its shape, maintain its volume and amazingly uh, produce regenerate, newly created fat. And then this would actually disappear in a matter of years. And, and the patient would only uh, left behind his own tissue. Of course, medical discoveries like this need funding for human trials. So far, they've had 100% success rate in animals. And if that's replicated in the human trials, this technology could be available to Australian women in as little as four years. I thought, oh, that's great. In a few years, I might go and get mine redone. Tara Hasty was diagnosed with breast cancer at just 27. Within a few days, yeah, I was being pulled into a doctor's office and she pretty much pulled out my results and said, so your results came back and looks like you've got breast cancer and I just, I don't think I heard anything else she said after that. Tara had both breasts removed and reconstructed using implants, the only option available to her at the time. They don't feel like they're a part of me, they do feel like they're sort of tacked on and um, if I had an option of, you know, having tissue of my own to, to grow or, you know, skin of my own to be there, that would be, you know, something that's yeah, would be much more appealing. 3D printing in medicine isn't new. It's been used as a training tool for surgeons, able to print life-sized replicas, like this rib cage, of what they'll see internally. Ankle bones, hip joints, even skull caps have also been 3D printed for use in patients. But it's the regeneration of tissue and bones with the help of the 3D scaffolds that is the new frontier. Last year, 27-year-old Ruben Lichter also had world first surgery at the Princess Alexandra Hospital in Brisbane when doctors implanted a 3D printed shin bone. I mean, it's a leap of faith, isn't it? Dr Michael Vargles, along with Professor Hubmaha and a team of specialists developed a 3D tibia scaffold which is helping Ruben regrow his bone. An infection had um, eaten out basically my entire tibia bone. Early indications are that there's enough strength in that construct for him to be able to start to take his first steps. It's very rewarding to see that the uh, research work you do really helps the patient at the end. As for what's next, it all comes down to a little imagination, research and funding. A vision without money is the illusion. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer at some point in their lives.